Hi, my name's Henry Cook. This last season, I worked with ANU on the Swift Parrot Project in Tasmania. These little birds had a terrible season, with few chicks surviving. On seeing this, I and the rest of the team hatched a plan to raise some money and save these birds. What are we doing today? So today, we're going to be banding the first Swift Parrots in the 2014 season. Um, assuming they've survived. This area we know has sugar gliders, so it's entirely possible that they're, uh, they've been eaten. Feather down. It's a parrot. This is Dr. Dayan Stajanovic, postdoctoral fellow at ANU. He's part of a team that has been researching swift parrots for the past seven years. Part of his research involved monitoring of nest success using motion detecting cameras. The nestlings are dead. What from? Oh, um, well, camera trap will tell us in a second. But it'll probably be sugar gliders. Sugar gliders were introduced to Tasmania sometime around the mid 19th century. When swift parrots nest in an area where there is a low risk of glider predation, like Bruni or Mariah Island, we get to see the nest succeed. From incubation to hatching, as they start to grow their feathers, and almost fledging. Unfortunately, the location of flowering blue gum and black gum dictates where the swift parrot breeds, so they can't nest on these islands every year. Which brings us to the crowdfunding. We want to do something about the nest failures. We know that sugar glider predation is directly linked to deforestation. We can't just switch off broad scale logging in Tasmanian old growth forest. Nor can we manage the wildfires, which burn out hollows every season. We want to use nest boxes as surrogate nest hollows or research tools for the swift parrot and two other critically endangered birds, the 40 spotted partilote and the orange bellied parrot. For 40 spotted partilotes, we want to increase the number of nest sites in some severely hollow limited locations. For the orange bellied parrot, we'd like to assess the risk of glider predation to known and historical breeding locations throughout Tasmania. Finally, for swift parrots, we'd like to add nesting sites to some regularly used but hollow free feeding locations in an attempt to establish new breeding sites. We'd also like to trial some designs we have for glider proof nest boxes. We have the manpower and the equipment to make this happen. All that is required are a lot of nest boxes. These are Australia's rarest birds and they all share a common threat. With your help, we can make a difference, ensuring the continued survival of these magnificent species.